in this video, we're going to solve Graham slope effusion and diffusion. So this is the formula. Rate 1 over rate 2 is equal to the square root of molecular mass of 2 over molecular, ma molecular mass of 1. So number 1, under the same conditions of temperature and pressure, how many times faster will hydrogen if used compared to carbon dioxide? So, we have a question here. The question is if you says, so how many times faster will the hydrogen if used? So, let's solve. So, we use from number one problem. We use the formula uh, rate one over rate 2 is equal to square root of molecular mass of 2 over molecular mass of 1 okay so the rate 1 here which is rate 1 is equal to hydrogen gas and rate 2 is equal to carbon dioxide so we will calculate the molecular mass of hydrogen gas so it's 2 times 1.008 equals to 2 times 1.008 equals to 2.016 grams per mole of hydrogen gas and molecular mass of carbon dioxide is equals to 12.01 plus 2 times 16 is equals to 12.01 plus 2 times 16 is equals to 44.01 grams per mole of carbon dioxide. So Let's use again the formula, solution, here, so, hydrogen gas, rate 1, over, carbon dioxide, which is, carbon dioxide, rate 2, is equals the square root of, the molecular mass of carbon dioxide here, so which is 44, 0.01 grams per mole of CO2 over 2.016 which is 2.016 grams per mole of hydrogen gas so let's calculate again we have square root of 44.01 over 2.016 Zero one six is equals to four point sixty seven. What is the unit again? Times faster. So times faster. Okay. That is your final answer of hydrogen gas so in carbon dioxide rate 2 let's assume that is 1 so in times 1 so the answer is 4.67 times faster hydrogen gas so how about in problem number 2 so we have a problem number 2 here and I'm an unknown gas diffuses 0 0.25 times as fast as helium. What is the molecular mass of the unknown gas? So we have we have a uh, unknown gas here. So 0 0.25. So it's problem number two. We have a given here, 
zero point twenty-five and then this is a helium. Oh no, this is a unknown gas. Okay. Zero point twenty five times. So we use again the formula. So rate one over rate two. So as the square root of molar mass of two divided by the molar mass of one. So the rate one, which is helium. Rate 1 equals to helium and rate 2 is equals to hydrogen gas. Okay, so in rate 1 we have a 0 0.25 times, so in rate 2 equals to hydrogen gas is equals to 1, and rate 1 is equals to. 0 0.25 times so let's apply the formula solution so 0 0.25 over 1 times i equals the square root of the square root of the molar mass of hydrogen gas is equals to 2.016 grams per mole of hydrogen gas and uh, helium which is 4 helium molar mass of helium is equals to 4.003 grams per mole of helium okay so right uh, for helium let's use a uh, four four grams per mole of helium and then one uh, which is one let let's say x that is an x so let's try to solve zero point twenty five over one is equals to square root of four grams per mole of helium over the square root of x so cross multiply so square root of x times 0 0.25 is equals square root of 4 grams per mole of helium and times 1 so I divide both sides by 0 0.25 over 0 0.25 so cancel the so square root of x is equals to square root of 4 grams per mole of helium over 0 0.25 so square root of x is equals to square root of 4 Square root of 4 over 0 0.95 is equals to 8. So we write a 8 here and then square both sides. Cancel. So x will be left. So 8 times 8, which is 64. So x is equals to 64 grams per mole of unknown gas so that's your final answer so that's your final answer so please like and subscribe